everybody. Welcome to the channel. It is Scruffy here and got some new info that I got to share with you guys regarding the cornucopius. Cornucopius obviously is an MMORPG if you are new to the project and they are developing it with blockchain technology, allowing you to own your own in-game assets. Now, a lot of you guys have already been following the project and you guys know recently they have started testing. I was lucky enough to get my hands on it and thought I'd do a quick little video to show you guys how to log into the website, download the launcher and start the process of downloading the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Here we are on cornucopias.io and we need to go log into our account. I'm just gonna go over here, click on the account button. It will bring us to the login page. I will enter my information. We'll click sign in. I do have two factor authentication enabled, so I will put that in as well. And we are all signed in. Now, once you log in, you'll see you're on the account overview page. And if you have access and availability to download and install the game, you'll see this nice little download button right here in the top right hand corner. So you're just going to go ahead and click on that bad boy. And in my particular browser, it shows up in the bottom left. I know some it's the top right, but uh, that will show that it is downloading. And if we go show in folder, we can either click on it or go show in folder. But once we do that, it will prompt us to read this big long EULA. I always encourage people to do it even though I don't do it myself. So we'll go ahead and click accept and it will start downloading the launcher. Boom, downloaded, installed, and we have the launcher. Now, as you guys can see, uh, we've got the menu over here with news, my game assets, frequently asked questions, patch notes, and report an issue. We'll get into all that a little bit later on. As you can see right here uh, above that, I've got a play now button. Now, that's because I've already installed the game but you should see a download button the very first time that you open up the launcher. You're gonna go ahead and click on the download button and wait for it to download. Mine took about 20 minutes to download. However, download times can vary. Could take you up to half an hour, maybe even an hour, depending on internet speed. But that'll give you some time to familiarize yourself with the menu over here on the left. As you guys can see, we're already on the news. We've got a welcome to Cornucopia's message. They will be able to dynamically update this through the website with uh, various news stories and updates regarding Cornucopia's. Uh, nice and handy to have that pop up right here in the launcher. Moving on, we go to My Game Assets. Here you're gonna find an asset list of all of the items in your wallet that is connected to your cornucopias.io account. And a nice little filter feature at the top allows you to go ahead and filter it by say just vehicles, or maybe you wanna filter by land, or maybe you wanna do a combination of vehicles and land, or custom domes, or other. Uh, another nice little feature to have in here, it just makes managing your inventory a little bit easier. I have a sneaking suspicion that's going to come in real handy later on. Next up, we've got the frequently asked questions. And as you guys can see, there's already a couple of frequently asked questions. Can I freely share my content from the game as I test? No, no, you can't do that. That's that. There's an NDA in place. You, you had to sign it before you get access to this. So no, <laughs> also, they've got uh, info here on how to create a NAMI wallet, and I'm sure they'll add more things as the game progresses. On to patch notes. Here we will have the notes when they do have patches. Obviously, there's none yet because they haven't done any patches, but when they do, if you want to know, this is where you'll find them. Moving on. Uh, I love the little bug icon here. This is report an issue. So as you're testing, you're not just walking around for, you know, funsies. Uh, we're doing this to try and help test the product, right? So it's very important to go ahead and report any issues you may run across, large or small. And 
this is where you're going to do it. As you guys can see at the very top, this is where you're going to put what your issue is. Uh, maybe your game didn't load up. I don't know. And you say, game failed to launch. Then uh, there's a nice little drop down here as far as what type of issue. Uh, there's a glitch, there's a resolution, a blocker, or if you're stuck. Now, uh, obviously a glitch, that's going to be probably one of your most common ones. Uh, resolution, it looks like is, I would assume, if you have the resolution to a known problem. Then you've got a blocker. A blocker is if it's something that is preventing you from moving on and testing the game. And then they have stuck. There's uh, lots of places in especially newer games where uh, you might be stuck. You are able to walk through a wall and you can't get out or you're able to jump into a place that you can't jump out of. That would be an example of stuck. On the uh, just to the right of that, there's another drop down and they want to know the area of the game that it's happening. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, so I'll let you guys work through those. And then uh, we've got a nice text area here where they would like for you to provide as much detail. Again, being very descriptive will help in here, telling you exactly where, exactly when, other things that uh, resolve around the problem. Did you try restarting? All of these little things help the guys troubleshoot and fix those issues. And then finally, we've got attach a file. Now, generally, this is a great place to attach a screenshot. You know what they say, a picture's worth a thousand words. So if you can give them a screenshot, that'll also help out the process. However, I have noticed that in a few special circumstances, it's really good to do a video. There are some things that only happen when you're running or jumping or something like that, or you need to show them exactly kind of how you got to an area. So what I found is if you do small, low quality videos, then you can go ahead and include those as well. Obviously, it depends on how long the video is. There is a 20 megabyte limit as far as your uploads go. Once you're done with that, you'll click on the Submit Issue button and you will get some nice little feedback letting them know that they received your issue. That about wraps it up. Hope you liked this video. If you found anything interesting, go ahead and give me a like subscribe and turn on the notifications. Also, if you're having any problems, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Till next time.